Welcome to another edition of Whiskey, Games, and Nerd Stuff. Today's whiskey is continuing the Whistle Pig Piggyback Rye in some Pepsi. It's Pepsi because I was out of Coke, and actually I'm liking this better than I originally thought I would. Uh, today may be a quick video, just wanted to kind of go over something I've had for a while, and it's a campaign that I have done in the past and working on starting up a newer one. This is from Kobold Press. It is Empire of the Ghouls. It's been out for quite a while. Um, I really like this campaign book. Um, I really like everything that Kobold Press does, and it's a lot of fun. So wanted to go ahead and kind of read this real quick. Citizens of the free city of Zobek are gone, have, are gone missing. Catacombs beneath the streets may provide answers, but what lurks in them may not enjoy company. Who will uncover and stop the foul and ghoulish workings? Will your adventurers have the fortitude and ambition or the greed and cunning it takes to put a stop to them? Empire of the Ghouls is a complete adventure for characters levels 1 to 13 for the 5th edition of the world's first RPG. It includes a gazetteer de detailing the Ghoul Imperium in the depths of the underworld, complete with map and appendices filled with new cults, creatures, magic items, and NPCs. Sharpen your blade and conjure your magical light to root out the foulness below the earth. Um, I've actually used this um, in the past. I've ran this specific uh, campaign um, through, and I've also used parts of this for campaigns that I'm doing on my own. And I'm actually thinking about, and one of the reasons I wanted to do this video was, I'm debating on if I wanted to set up a Patreon account. And as part of the, the Patreon account, I was gonna go ahead and uh, do a Discord and do um, see who wants to join campaigns. Um, I do a lot of deep, D, you know, I DM for a lot of D&D uh, &D campaigns. Um, I've kind of stopped, uh, um, not stopped, but uh, slowed down over the last year or so. Um, and it's something I want to get back up in my free time. I find that when I do it, it's kind of one of those things that kind of, it's a good, healthy outlet for me. Um, and, uh, something I wanted to start up and because I was con contemplating doing a Patreon account, I thought this would kind of be a good thing to offer to patrons. Um, it's something I was thinking about doing. If I end up doing it, I think it'll be one of those things where you do, you know, twice a month, um, for a couple hours or, for a lot of us that, you know, are, are working, have a family and just don't have a lot of time, even are thinking doing that every other week for two hours or once a week for an hour, um, just depending on how it went. But I wanted to start something back up. I've got a homebrew world um, that I've developed quite extensively and I do borrow a lot from this. This is one of the great things where I liked um, so many of these books and Kobold has so much cool stuff in here. Um, but again, it was just something I wanted to talk about real quick, point this out. This is not a newer book. It's been out for quite a while. Um, do really like what they have and you can kind of see where, you know, just some of the artwork they have. Let me go ahead and push that down a little bit. They've got, this is very extensive. There's so many things that you can use in here. You know, they've got, like they said, they've got cults, they've got maps in here. They've got a whole lot of NPCs. There's a lot of really cool things that they have in here, um, you know, and I know that there's some other YouTube channels out there that I've seen where they've talked about this book and maybe even some running adventures, but this is just something I wanted to kind of briefly talk about. Um, again, this is a quick video, Empire of the Ghouls. And again, if it's something that people are interested in, would love to talk about it more. If, if you think there's an audience out there that would love to do um, campaigns would love to hear from you. Please make a comment in the comment section. Um, and if you have other source materials from Kobold Press, especially with the kerfuffle and what Wizards of the Coast and Hasbro have been doing with open game license, um, or it's, you know, I'm paying more and more attention to some of the older stuff that I had and reminding why it was so important to let other um, third party companies, you know, put out products like this. Um, you know, I, I, I'm, I have fond memories of this and I've had many hours of entertainment just off this off book alone. And, you know, one could easily argue without the current OGL in place, this might not have come, come to come to be. Um, but again, I want to thank everybody. Please like subscribe, all that fun stuff. And until next time, cheers.